Welcome back you guys. So today I'm excited to be reviewing my MS180C chainsaw. This chainsaw is special to me. This was actually my first chainsaw. Uh, my wife ended up giving this to me. She started something that she didn't know what she was doing when she did. <laughs> because as you can see, I've got a lot of chainsaws since then. I love chainsaws, uh, but this being my first chainsaw, I was able to see what its capabilities were as a homeowner. So whenever uh, we uh, got this chainsaw, we just had a house in the suburbs and uh, I was basically just using it for lemming and uh, firewood. It definitely did all those different things. And then as time went by, I used it more for firewood and bigger and bigger stuff. This chainsaw was able to do just about everything I threw at it. I didn't really ever have any issues with it. One of the reasons why I did this video, I recently did a video on the MS261, which, which is a pro level chainsaw. And I wanted to show just what a homeowner chainsaw is capable of. And not everybody needs a pro level chainsaw. I mean, this may suit all your needs. Um, and that's kind of what I wanted to speak to today that uh, you don't always need the, the biggest chainsaw. This will definitely do, uh, do a lot of different things that you would you wouldn't think from the factory this chainsaw came with a 16 inch bar it was a pico bar and chain which is just a thinner uh, gauge bar and chain i actually since then have upgraded it to a, a 14 inch bar with a 50 gauge uh, bar and chain that definitely for me it, it cut faster and and it was able to get through uh things a little bit easier and me using this just for lemming and for firewood it definitely improved its performance if you just are going to be using it for lemming that uh, that bar and chain that comes from the factory works great for lemming this chainsaw uh, weighs in at uh, like nine pounds the uh, power on this is two horsepower which may not sound like much but Believe me, this thing can do a lot more than you would think. This chainsaw also works great if you're pairing it with a bigger chainsaw. So if you have maybe a felling chainsaw or a bucking up uh, larger round firewood chainsaw, this pairs really well with that um, or even works great as a backup chainsaw as well. If you're looking to pair a chainsaw with this, I would look in the 50cc range to 60cc range. Um, for steel, we're looking at an MS-271, an MS-291 Farm Boss, or if you wanna look a little bit at a higher level than that, you're looking at an MS-261 uh, chainsaw or an MS-362, which those two last ones are professional chainsaws. So one of the other aspects of this chainsaw, um, it has, instead of the, cap, the bar uh, and chain nuts here, it has a little lever that you twist instead and then this little tab right here you twist back to basically tighten um, and loosen uh, the bar and chain which makes it easier um, if you don't want to be carrying around uh, a, uh, a scrunch with you this one also has it's, co it's called an easy to start uh, function um, which basically means you pull it up to a certain point and then once you pull through it causes it to turn a lot faster and, and it helps it start a little bit easier. For me, I could do without it. I mean, I'm just so used to using other chainsaws where I don't have this. So, uh, but if, if it's something where you're looking for something, maybe for a homeowner that you, maybe you don't use one a lot, or maybe it's something that uh, you want your, your wife or um, different people to use, um, this uh, might make it a little bit easier. Like I said, this video is mainly geared towards the homeowner um, and somebody that's looking for just getting into um, cutting with a chainsaw. And if that's you, this is a great option um, as a first chainsaw. So if you all have any questions about this chainsaw uh, specifically, or you want to know um, maybe some more of its capabilities, hit me down in the comments and, and I'll try to answer as best as I can based on my experience. Also, let me know any of y'all that have the MS-180 or maybe the MS-170. Uh, let me know your experience with using this chainsaw and kind of what your uses of this chainsaw were. That can kind of help uh, give some other people different ideas of what, this, what the capabilities of this chainsaw are. And as always, if you like these type of videos, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.